Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am the Shiv, and today we're going to be taking a look at Trove, because, well, why the fuck not? Um, I actually heard about this game a bit ago, as I was, uh, kind of following info on another game known as Arc Age, made by the same studio, being distributed by them at least, and, um, it looked kind of interesting, but I, I never really gave it much of a thought. However, uh, it recently came out. It is free to play uh, and surprisingly fun, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, normally, I like my games to have like a story, something I can like really get in depth to. But uh, lately, I've been finding all the stories have been kind of like recycled. Uh, I've been getting a little bit more into like open world design. You know, basically be your own whatever. And this game kind of really allows for a lot of cool stuff, and I really like that. Um, some of the cool stuff that it's um, letting me really get into is uh, kind of build my own little house and stuff of that nature. And there's a lot of creative ways you could do that. It's actually... One of the things I like the most about it. What the hell is this? Better question is, can I... Activate Cursed Skull. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but... Alright. But, um... The game is actually rather simplistic, you know? You're, the main goal of it is pretty much level. You know? Level... Collect stuff, build stuff, grind stuff. Uh, inevitably, you will get to points where some of the dungeons and stuff you're doing, um, you'll need like bigger groups. I'll tell you right now, a two-man team does a lot of these dungeons very well. Oh. Playing with a friend. Awesome. Not to mention when you're harvesting stuff, having a couple people close by, you'll both get the benefit of it. So, there's something to be said about that. And the world just looks so stunningly good. I mean, for voxel slash cell shading, it's actually pretty legit. Like... I gotta play it a little bit careful here. Uh, all out of potions. But, I mean, the game is definitely pretty fucking legit. Um, the only, only issue I have with it is that because it has, like, no definitive linear story arcing or anything of that nature, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're supposed to do. I mean, the game is new. Nobody's really come out with any sort of strategy or guides or whatnot. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's, that's like, not a big deal. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here, like, running around, exploiting the fact that the gunslinger can basically stay in the air forever and a day. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, hmm, interesting. But, um, the game itself, a lot of fun. I highly recommend checking it out. I mean, it's free to play. Come on, guys. I mean, what more do you want? Now, as you start playing it, you'll start realizing there's a lot of things you should be, like, trying to do. And there's going to be certain materials you're going to have to be on the lookout for a lot. Uh, luck luckily, I had uh, Noxious, who pretty much got into this day one, kind of explain a lot of those things to me. Um, so there's that. That's always a good thing. 
But um, it's really kind of cool and kind of simple, but yet fun, you know? A lot of games, you see, they, they try to push that, you know, graphical boundary, you know, and then the rest of the game kind of sucks ass. I, I can think of some other games like that. But uh, this one, nope. It does what it does without having to rely on those... This isn't to say those things are bad, but it's nice to actually see content and a quality of a game versus, hey, look at the bright, shiny, sparkly. No, yeah, but you know, that's me. Okay, so this is one of the cool features I like about it. Uh, you can actually destroy the stuff you're not going to use, which, by the way, there's quite a bit of it. Uh, and you'll notice, like, all these items that we're making here are... You, were made by other players. All right. So gives you an idea of just what kind of community involvement you guys will be looking at with this. You'll spend a lot of time doing with what I'm doing right now, which is basically breaking down stuff. Just so you have uh, materials to craft. Uh, the crafting system in here is actually kind of cool. Um, like you could build bombs, whole whole bunch of other little things. You could build your own mounts, which that's kind of cool. Uh, you need somber souls, which I just recently discovered where what those are. Uh, as you can see, I only have four. You need 40 of them to make most stuff. And you look at some of the rest of that stuff, and it's like, oh, wow, that's quite a bit. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Holy crap, yes, it is. Um, but yeah, really, really interesting system here. I really like this uh, Golden Souls. Yeah, this is actually one of the harder ones to get. I got one Golden Soul. Thank God for that. Um, but yeah, some of the mounts are kind of silly, but there's also other things you can get, uh, wings, neon night sky, so you can literally have like these neon wings that allow you to kind of like hover float better than what I do as a gunslinger. Um, you could also get this, uh, mag rider, which I've never seen, so I really couldn't tell you. Uh, you have ways of doing gear improvements. Which, you know, we're going to make this right now because I think I can make this. Yes, I can. All right. So we're going to craft that. All right. So. All right, so we can upgrade weapons. Yeah, we will. All right, apparently no, we can't because we don't have enough flux. How about faces? Can we upgrade that? All right, yeah, so we can upgrade our weapons, upgrade all sorts of shit. That's actually really cool. Hey, we can upgrade this, though. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, so, some of the things in here I, I have found are a little wonky. Like, there's some issue with rings. Okay, so now this is even more awesome. Oh, wow. that That's interesting. I like this. Okay. <laughs> But there's also a couple other things here. Uh, you'll notice that there's level and then there's mastery rank. Um, basically, as you're leveling up your class, you'll get more for your mastery and whatnot, and that'll level up. Um, there are certain classes or there are certain quests you have to do that require you to get to certain mastery in order to advance. Like right now, I'm at mastery rank 3, and as you can tell by the quest on the right side, I need to be 5. 
So I've got to basically do a lot of grinding and shit like that before I can advance that. But, you know, that's pretty typical of a lot of these games, so don't hold it against it. Other than that, it's a really fun game. I highly recommend checking this out. Um, solo play-wise, it's difficult, but doable. Very, very doable. Um, you can also fish in this game, too, I might like to point out. Uh, as you get uh, more friends who are playing this and all that and you'll be doing stuff, it gets so much easier. I highly recommend, you know, if you're going to pick this up and play this, invite some of your friends. It's cool. Uh, you know, just level that way. It's really effective. You, you'll see. It's very effective. Anyway, so that's my little uh, two cents on trope. It's... Oh, shit. As I'm trying to do this, this is literally attacked by goddamn walking cupcake. Oh, and you're... No, actually, that's a walking cupcake. Okay, well, everybody's wanting to come and kill me now. I can't even sign off. Oh, you die, you bastards. There's an advantage to being a gunslinger. Oh, what are you? And why are you here? I have no idea who... Oh, you do not look happy. Why are you not in a cave? You are a boss! Why are you here? What the fuck was that, guys? Alright, well, on that note... This game is actually kind of cool and surprises everywhere. Like, Jesus Christ, just trying to sign off and I got attacked. So till next time, stay safe, have fun, and check out Trove. The game is worth it. Surprisingly fun. Till next time, it's Shiv saying peace.